What you'll need is a four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a sewing needle, and um, I'm using pure cotton, double knit, and for a size four millimeter crochet hook. We're going to begin with a slip knot, so and then we're going to make a chain of 50. This is for the back part of the top. So a chain is yarn around the hook, pull through, that's one. Once you have chained 50, chain one, and we're gonna do half double crochet along the row. So what that is, is yarn around your needle through that first stitch there. Pull through, so you have three loops on your hook, and then you just pull through both the loops. So yarn around, through the stitch, pull through, and then pull through all the loops so you have one loop left on your needle. So we're coming to the end of the row, going to that last stitch. Chain one, turn your work around and we're gonna be working in the back stitch. Stitches, so here, like this, and these stitches here. So I'll show you yarn around we're still doing half double crochets through the back stitch of and then pull through And it should look a bit like this. By crocheting in the back of the stitch um, and doing the half double crochet, it gives the top that knitted look that we're looking for, you know. So continue doing this for all your rows. And I think I'm going to do about 30 rows of this. So I'm coming to the end of um, my 30th row of half double crocheting in the back stitch. And then this is what it should look like. So I'm going to cut it off. Put the yarn over your needle, pull it through the stitch, and then just tug in it, and then you're finished. We're starting with the back panel, and I'm going to begin with a slip knot, and then I'm going to make a chain of 72. So we chain 72, I'm going to chain one and yarn around the needle go into the 72nd stitch with a half double crochet. And 
and we're gonna do this all along the chain like we did with the other the other panel so we're coming to the end of the row and we're going into the last stitch i'm gonna chain one turn and work around and do the same as what we were doing half double crochet into the back stitch We're coming towards the end of the 30th row of the front panel. So I'm going to cut the yarn. Yarn around the needle, pull through and you just tighten it and we finished. Um, here's just a video of what the front panel and the back panel should look like the back panel is much smaller than the front so we're going to take the back panel which is the smaller panel and we're going to count 15 stitches well mark off 15 stitches from each side because that's how the straps are that's going to be the width of the straps one two Three, four, five, seven. And I count the stitches by um, counting the V's on top of the stitch. So that would be one, two, three. Then we just go to the other side. And we do the same. If you want your straps to be either thicker, you can do more than 15 stitches. And if you want them to be thinner, you can do less than 15 stitches. It's entirely up to you. So once you've marked off 15 stitches from either side, um, I'm just going to loosen this little stip slip knot thing that we did at the end of the row i'm going to stick my needle through the um the stitch and then i'm going to turn my work around so the knot and the needle are on the right hand side so i'm just going to chain one and put my needle through the first stitch and then I'm going to take my yarn and just put it over your needle and then I'm just going to pull it through the stitch and then pull it through again and then I'm just going to crochet over the stitch the yarn so it you can like hide the yarn so i'm just going to go through the stitch i'm just going to carry on doing this until we get to there So here's your 15th stitch. I'm just going to take my marker out. And then I'm going to do half double crochet like we have been doing. I'm going to chain one. Turn my work around. And then yarn around. Go through the first stitch.
I'm just gonna cut this little piece of yarn off. So we're coming to the end. I'm going to that last stitch. The back of that last stitch there. Chain one and turn your work around. Go into that first stitch. So I did um, 44 rows of half double crochet in the back stitch, but you can do however many rows you want according to how high you want your top to sit on your chest. Um, it's optional. So I've done 44 rows of crochet, half double crocheting in the back stitch. So now I'm going to leave some string cut it and then i'm just gonna pull the string and tighten it and now we're gonna start with the other strap so i'm gonna start with a slip knot and then i'm just gonna take this little counter out I'm going to put my needle in the back stitch. Pull your slip knot through the stitch and I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do yarn around the needle in the back stitch. And I'm just going to do that for all the rows like we did on that other strap. So we're going to the end of the row, go through the back stitch, chain one, turn your work around, and then just go into that first stitch. We're just going to do that for 44 rows like we did with the other strap. So we're coming to the end of the 44th row on the other strap. So I'm just going to leave a lot of string, like quite a bit. I'm just going to cut it and then put the yarn over your needle and pull it through the stitch and then just tighten it. So this is kind of what the top looks like. The straps are pretty long and we're just going to sew the front and back bit together now. So I'm just going to thread um, my needle, stick the yarn through. I'm just going to tie like a little knot here so it doesn't come undone when I'm sewing the bits together. So I'm going to line up these two tops. Well, these two, and you just line it up and you sew along the sides. And you just we'll do that. I'll show you once I've done it. So you'll just sew along. So I've um, threaded my needle and I've left quite a bit of string. And now I'm just going to sew the pieces together once I've lined it up. So I'm sewing along the edge of the top. Just going to tie a small knot. It's like 
I'm just putting the needle through the stitches, but I'm making sure it's all aligned. And I'm going to sew over the strings. So keep them to the left of your work. And you're just going to carry this on until you're at the bottom of your top. See, this is what it should look like at the end. Just going to sew in the last stitch. And I won't go fully all the way. And I'll bring the needle through the hoop and just... tug on it and then I'll cut the string off over here and we're just going to do that on the other side as well the whole thing again so I'm just putting a marker where I've joined the panels and then on both sides actually so put it over there So I'm going to just put another marker 13 stitches away from where I've put the marker. So, and then you're just going to put the marker in and um, you'll do that on the other side as well. So, why I put those markers down is because we're going to end up crocheting the straps from there to there. So, I'm just going to loosen the stitch at the end of the, the arm bit there. And I'm going to line up... the little sleeve bit with where it needs to end so I'm gonna place my needle through the stitch and through the stitch it's lined up with yarn around your needle pull through it's like a single crochet so I'm gonna place my needle through both stitches yarn around your needle pull through and then yarn around pull through two I'm just going to take the counter out just crochet and go into the last stitch and that's where the counter was and we're just going to I'm just going to pull the needle through the stitch and then tighten it. And then, oh, here's a tip. I just weave excess, the excess string through the stitches. Like so, it's pretty easy. You just get rid of the, the string. And we're just going to do what you did on this sleeve with the other sleeve. And I'll show you once I am done. So now I'm just going to weave all these little bits in the top. And then you're finished. I'm 
I just do this to weave them in. It's the easiest way of getting rid of all the strings. I need to sway, to be honest. Once you're done with your top, this is what it should look like. 